Deleted, combined, simplified uh, on Raptor 2 versus Raptor 1. SpaceX's Starship program has captured the imagination of space enthusiasts worldwide. With its ambitious goals of interplanetary travel and massive payload capacity, Starship promises to revolutionize space exploration. Currently, Starship V2 is undergoing testing, with its first orbital flight anticipated soon. But what lies beyond V2? This video reveals the potential future of Starship with V3 and its powerful Raptor engine counterpart V3. The Starship program centers around a fully reusable launch vehicle consisting of a super heavy booster and a Starship spacecraft upper stage. SpaceX's Starship program has captivated the world with its audacious goal of interplanetary travel. However, the program recently encountered a setback with the launch failure of Starship Flight, a critical test for the ambitious project. However, that won't stop the project. Recently, the Starship has been planning on engaging in another flight test. The upcoming Starship Flight Test, currently targeting Starship 29 and Booster 11, aims to replicate a crewed lunar mission profile. Anticipated for launch later in 2024, Flight 4 could be a game changer. This ambitious test will involve a high-altitude launch of Starship and a re-entry and landing attempt near the launch site. The booster, on the other hand, will perform a simulated landing maneuver without actually touching down. This mission might attempt the program's first ever booster catch attempt. The test holds immense significance for the future of Starship. A successful landing of the Starship will demonstrate the vehicle's capability to return astronauts or cargo from space safely. The simulated booster landing, meanwhile, will provide valuable data for perfecting the intricate high-thrust landing maneuver required for reusability. SpaceX is ramping up production to meet its ambitious goals. A recent informational video revealed plans to build six additional Super Heavy boosters and Starships in 2024 alone. While Starship 29 takes center stage for the flight test, Starship 30 is quietly undergoing preparations for a crucial static fire test. This test involves igniting a subset of Starship's Raptor engines while the vehicle remains grounded, allowing engineers to assess engine functionality and overall system performance. Starship 30, however, represents more than just another test vehicle. It serves as a stepping stone toward the next generation of Starships. The first in line is the Starship V2. Here is where things start to get interesting. These future versions will have several exciting design changes to enhance performance and carrying capacity. What is Starship V2 all about and how will the changes made in this version help bring the Starship program closer to achieving its ultimate goal, Starship's V2? While focusing often on achieving the first orbital flight, Elon Musk recently unveiled plans for Starship version 2 during a company address. Starship V2, the proposed upgrade for the current version of the Starship, is full of many surprises. SpaceX went out on this one as the V2 boasts impressive capabilities. Starship V2 is the current version of SpaceX's ambitious, fully reusable launch vehicle system, rapidly approaching its first orbital flight. These are all Raptor 2s? Yeah. V2 boasts a slightly increased height compared to current prototypes. An extra meter on the booster and two additional meters on the upper stage contribute to a larger propellant tank, which directly boosts thrust. Current prototypes generate a respectable 1250 tons of thrust, but V2 pushes that number to a hefty 1600 tons. V2 is designed to lift over 100 tons of cargo to low Earth orbit, surpassing its predecessor's capabilities by a substantial margin. This opens doors for heavier and more complex payloads, including large satellites, research modules, and even crewed missions to the moon. Beyond the raw numbers, V2 incorporates several design changes to improve overall performance. The nose cone takes on a more pointed shape, potentially offering aerodynamic advantages. The wing flaps are redesigned to be longer and narrower, suggesting further improvements in aerodynamic efficiency during atmospheric re-entry. A critical area of improvement lies in the interstage, the crucial connection point between the booster and the upper stage. V2 features a redesigned interstage that prioritizes increased venting during hot stage separation. This maneuver generates extreme heat, and improved venting helps mitigate potential damage. 
Another critical modification involves the grid fins maneuvering the starship during atmospheric re-entry. In V2, these fins are strategically moved downwards and away from the interstage. This alteration aims to minimize damage to the interstage during stage separation, ensuring a smoother transition back to Earth. Also, the outer shield surrounding the Raptor engines has been removed, suggesting increased confidence in the engine's thermal resilience. One of the most striking changes in Starship Vive 2 will be its increased height. This additional stature translates to more internal volume, allowing for a significant increase in propellant capacity. More propellant translates to greater thrust and the ability to carry heavier payloads to orbit. The enhanced carrying capacity is crucial for deep space missions, including those envisioned for Mars colonization. Starship Vi 2's 100 ton payload capacity is a game changer, but V3 throws a mind boggling number into the mix 2200 metric tons. This near exponential leap raises the question what kind of missions will this version unlock? Will V3 lead us closer to Elon's dream of an era of mega satellites and colossal space stations? Or perhaps, more realistically, will it break the barriers that have held us back from moving into the next step of space exploration? Beyond V2, if version 2 represents a refined version of Starship 1, then version 3 embodies a paradigm shift. This monster of a ship dwarfs its predecessors in sheer size, towering over the current launch tower at Starbase which stands at 150 meters. Version 3 stretches nearly 20 meters taller than the current prototypes. This immense increase in size translates to an almost comical appearance compared to earlier iterations. The colossal size isn't purely for display. Version 3 boasts nearly double the propellant capacity of current prototypes. This increase in fuel translates directly into power. The number of vacuum engines responsible for propelling the Starship in the vacuum of space jumps from 3 to 6 in version 3. This translates to an incredible 2700 tons of thrust, a significant leap even from the enhanced version 2. The increased engine power enables version 3 to deploy a staggering 2200 metric tons of cargo to low Earth orbit, representing a near exponential leap over current prototype's capabilities and solidifying Starship's position as a game changer in space exploration. V3V's V2 The significant difference between the two versions is in their ability to support extra weight or payload capacity. With V3 in the lead, supporting a staggering weight of around 2200 metric tons. How does V3 intend to pull off this payload capacity? As we said earlier, Starship V2 boasts an impressive payload capacity, estimated to reach around 100 tons to low Earth orbit, LEO. However, V3 could aim for even higher figures. This would enable a broader range of missions, from deploying massive space stations to transporting critical components for deep space exploration endeavors. Subtle adjustments to Starship V3's overall size and design could yield significant payload improvements. Extending the fuel tanks or optimizing the internal layout for cargo efficiency could increase capacity. Upgraded engines, potentially even entirely new propulsion technologies in V3, could translate to a higher payload capability. Imagine future iterations utilizing more powerful Raptor engines or even exploring nuclear thermal rockets for missions demanding exceptional thrust. Starship's reusability opens doors for innovative launch strategies. Multiple Starship launches could deliver various components to orbit, which could then be assembled in space to create a larger operational structure, effectively surpassing the payload limit of a single launch. Last but not the least is the proposed idea of on-orbit refueling. Refueling starships in space using depots or tankers could drastically extend their operational range and payload capacity. V3 might accommodate docking procedures and fuel transfer mechanisms for such operations. According to Elon Musk, a starship would need about 4-5 to five refills before transporting some weight from the Earth to the Moon. The heart of the starship. The Raptor engine is the beating heart of Starship. This next generation, full-flow staged combustion engine burns methane and liquid oxygen, generating immense thrust. The latest Raptor variant boasts an impressive 280 tons of thrust at sea level, with the vacuum variant reaching even higher at 300 tons. From the early days of Raptor 1 to the anticipated advancements of Raptor 3, 
The company's journey in engine manufacturing is a testament to innovation and efficiency. The evolution began with the introduction of Raptor 1 in February 2018. One, the, the, the Raptor 1 is the one that looks like the, the crazy Christmas tree there. <laughs> Marking SpaceX's foray into the realm of powerful rocket engines. However, production during this phase was relatively slow, with only 100 Raptor 1 engines produced over three years. Each engine took nearly two weeks to manufacture, reflecting the initial challenges SpaceX faced in streamlining its production process. The turning point came with the transition to Raptor 2 in November 2022. Armed with a redesigned and simplified architecture, Raptor 2 represented a significant leap forward in efficiency and performance. SpaceX's relentless pursuit of optimization led to a drastic reduction in production time, with the company producing 200 Raptor 2 engines in just one year. Elon Musk confirmed this achievement in a tweet, highlighting a production time of only 24 hours per engine by the end of 2021. SpaceX's simplification strategy was critical to this success, encapsulated in Musk's mantra, the best part is no part, the best process is no process. By eliminating unnecessary components and refining the design, SpaceX achieved a 25% increase in power while reducing the mass of Raptor 2 by 1,600 kilograms compared to its predecessor. This not only enhanced performance but also contributed to a significant reduction in production costs, with each Raptor 2 engine costing approximately $2 million. As SpaceX unveils the advancements of Raptor 2, whispers of an even more powerful engine, Raptor 3, begin to circulate. What secrets lie within this new version, and what groundbreaking innovations will this next-generation engine bring? The future with Raptor V3. Building upon the foundation laid by Raptor 2, SpaceX is poised to unveil its latest innovation, Raptor 3. With promises of even greater power and efficiency, Raptor 3 represents the next frontier in engine technology. While the current Raptor engine is impressive, there's always room for improvement. SpaceX has highlighted several areas where Raptor V3 could focus its development efforts. Firstly is the combustion chamber innovations. The combustion chamber is where the magic happens. Fuel and oxidizer ignite, generating immense heat and pressure that propels the engine. Utilizing advanced materials or innovative cooling technologies in V3's combustion chamber could allow higher operating temperatures and pressures. Preliminary tests indicate that Raptor 3 boasts an 18% increase in power compared to its predecessor, further solidifying SpaceX's position at the forefront of propulsion systems. Moreover, the streamlined design of Raptor 3 is expected to enhance production efficiency, potentially surpassing the already impressive rate of one engine per day achieved with Raptor 2. Super Heavy Boosters The Raptor engines are part of the Super Heavy Boosters. The Super Heavy Booster stands tall at a staggering 71 meters, 233 feet, and boasts a diameter of 9 meters. 30 feet. This first stage launch vehicle is a powerhouse for lifting the Starship off Earth's surface. This immense structure is built from high-strength stainless steel, chosen for its lightweight properties and resilience to the extreme heat and stresses encountered during launch and re-entry. Supporting Starship like a colossal metal atlas is the Super Heavy Booster. The true power behind the Super Heavy Booster lies in its impressive array of Raptor engines. The current version of the Starship utilizes 33 Raptor engines, which burn a combination of liquid methane and liquid oxygen, generating an immense thrust of approximately 2,300 metric tons at sea level. This phenomenal power allows the Super Heavy to overcome Earth's gravity and propel the entire Starship launch vehicle system skyward. The more powerful Raptor V3 engine, while ideal for increased payload capacity, might present challenges for the current Super Heavy booster. The immense thrust could require modifications to the booster structure or heat shield to withstand the additional stress. Will the Super Heavy require significant upgrades to accommodate a V3 engine, or will ingenious design adaptations allow it to integrate seamlessly with the next generation power plant? Starship's reusability is a cornerstone of its economic viability. The Super Heavy booster plays a crucial role in achieving this goal. 
The video highlights the presence of landing legs and grid fins on the booster. These features enable a controlled descent and landing back at the launch site after completing its mission of propelling the Starship spacecraft towards space. SpaceX plans to have two launch pads operational at Starbase Texas and two additional pads in Florida. This multi-site approach will allow for increased launch cadence and support for various missions. The recent video marked the final launch of the Delta IV heavy rocket, signifying a shift in the space industry towards more reusable launch systems like Starship. The V3 and Raptor Vi-3 are exciting innovations, but with SpaceX's current technology, do you think it's possible to bring these projects into reality before the next launch flight? Feel free to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new exciting videos.